What's up, Blue Chips? One trade today on PDCE. Let's get to it. All right, traders. So before I show you the live trade, I just wanted to let you know that we are going to be doing a giveaway for 400 subscribers. It is going to be a week of the ISW scanners everything the full team experience you're going to get the chat rooms the learning center all the scanners so if you want to sign up for that i'm going to make a video so stay tuned for that and here's the live trade all right so we got pdce up here as you can see it's been going off on the scanners here for a few minutes it's kind of spready We're going to just start it here. Okay, that was a really good click. We got in right before the drop. It's one of them ones where it sucks to kind of hit the bid because you put yourself in an immediate deficit. But as you can see, we timed that one pretty well. All right, looks like it wants to continue. So we're looking at the daily here. As you can see, that one little wick there right at $30. So we'll see what it wants to do there at 30 See if it wants to use it as resistance. All right, we're going up. I'm gonna put an order in here at 3015. Anyway, got 330 there, but it's getting rejected. You can see this. It's a little spready on this one. And it looks like I might want to try again. It's kind of hanging out in this area. Goes back into the 90s. Maybe not. It's messing with us. It let us get in, and then it doesn't want to get up there and fill us through that $30 area. But it's trying to use that resistance on the daily, like we had mentioned. Right, I'm coming back down. Seeing what it wants to do. All right, we're coming back down towards our entry. See if we can get through 50. All right, right back up. All right. So let's just kind of keep an eye on this, see what it wants to do. All right, we're coming back up to 30. And we're through. Okay, we got our fill there at 15. Decided to keep going. Looks like we are going to hesitate a little bit here. Ask went straight up there. Now if it wants to continue, we'd obviously be looking for something over 50 here. Right, the ask is coming down there. We're going to again add 100. Now, usually we would do 1, 1, 2, 4, but we actually upped our share size on this. Usually we would start with 50 or 75 shares on a uh, stock at this price. So, of course, the first trade we decided to try to scale up one uh, being Monday, we uh, are running into one where we have to go up. But since this one's not moving, like it's obviously moving fast, as you can see, nothing but green right now. We're extending ourselves, but it's not doing it super fast. It's only doing it semi fast. So instead of taking that second or third ad as double the position size, we're going to just do half of that. So we're going to just do 100, 100, 100. So that way, if we get up here um, over 31, we can get that second 100 to kind of make it a one, one, two at a better average just because of the way that it's moving. So we'll see if we can get up there and get that. 
Yeah, we're just kind of playing the waiting game here, see what it wants to do. The spread can can really throw you on these a little bit. Okay, looks like we're, oh, I thought we were about to try to move back up there. See a lot of green came through. The bid said, uh-uh. All right, coming back down, see if we can get through 50. See if we can not make that mistake again. All right, we're gonna add one more time there as we could see it kind of starting to fail there. We got the break through 50. We got that add at 59, which is good. So we ended up with almost like a 112 anyways. So now our average is at 30, 20. So we're gonna get and put in for half of our shares there at 30, 10. Actually, we might put in for 300 just because this one is just not acting right. All right, so we got our 300 here at 3010. See if we can get this little bit of a drop to try to test the $30 mark. There we go. There we go. We got taken out. See if we can get through 30. All right, we're going to just take it there. Might be a little premature. Probably should have just took half again there and see if we can get that move down towards VWAP. But, okay, there's a spike back through 30. It just kind of felt like it was hanging out there, and it might want to try to do this. All right, traders, so that was my trade on PDCE. As you can tell, it was a little bit of a fight. Uh, we actually upped our share size a little bit on this one, but we came out on top. We played it a little bit differently than we normally would have, but um, we actually ended up with pretty much the same average that we would have uh, playing it 112 instead of 1111 like we did. Uh, just the way it was moving, uh, I, I love the trade. Uh, I just wanted to not get too big on position size just because of the price of the stock uh, too early, as well as it wasn't like making these big candles over and over again. It was just, you know, like the medium sized candles that it was continuing to extend itself away from VWAP and all that good stuff. So once we kind of felt like it found the top, that's when we decided to add our extra 100 shares in and we got the nice drop. So uh, we were a little bit impatient with our uh, take profits. Uh, we initially thought we were just going to take half here around $30, but we decided to take 75%. And instead of letting that last 25% work for us or even just taking half of that, we decided to take the whole thing. And as you can see from our last cover right at $30, this actually dropped all the way down to 2903. So even if we would have kept 50 shares, uh, that was an extra 50 bucks right there and that was actually what we made on the trade uh, it was $51 so it would have been really beneficial to kind of just let that play out in our favor especially because we were nice and green here so even 50 shares if it wanted to climb up and try to stop us out it would have been a break-even trade uh, for the most part but you know that's the risk you have to take and at that point that would have been pretty good especially after the little bit of a ride that we went on so you know, we'll take it. $50 is our quota right now. Um, so we're going to try to scale up and hit that uh, every single day instead of these like $20, $30 days. And once we can get to that, then we'll look to scale up from there. So I'm pretty happy with this trade. There wasn't really anything else uh, that hit the scanners today uh, that really interested me, um, just minus the low floaters that were moving this morning. So that's all I got for you. So like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Always appreciate that support. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.